There aren't a whole lot of reasons to love Tuesdays, but I always love Tuesday nights <laughs> because of these stories. That's we are right. hitting yep. the road once again to see all that Wisconsin has to offer. Well, tonight in our small town segment, NBC 26's Air Crest takes us to Two Rivers for a one of a kind museum, giving us a look into the past of printing. Along the Lake Michigan shoreline in Two Rivers, there's a place that has been making headlines, so to speak, since the late 1800s. The reason that I think people embrace letterpress is because it doesn't look like the Xerox copy. For nearly 100 years, the Hamilton Manufacturing Company created wooden letters, known as wood type, used for the production of posters, magazines, and newspapers. If you grew up with newspaper headlines, particularly prior to 1970, that type that was used on those headlines came from Two Rivers, Wisconsin. In the early 1900s, wood type was almost exclusively purchased from the East Coast. But with the abundance of hard rock maple wood found in Wisconsin, Hamilton discovered he could provide the letters at about half the cost. We advertise the fact that we have the world's largest collection of type at a million and a half pieces. With only 26 letters in our alphabet to work with, millions of headlines were pieced together with this wood over the years. Every single typeface has a set of patterns. The alphabet, the punctuation, the figures. And today they continue the letter making practice here. It's even done the same way Hamilton did, just on a much smaller scale. It still works. We're making new type and we're selling new type. So it's, a, it's an odd thing in the 21st century. And here perfection is in the eye of the beholder. A flaw isn't always considered so. The human element is etched into every last piece. No two are really alike. There is very much the human being in it as opposed to what you get on the computer, which is exactly the same thing every single time. And while not anyone passing through the museum can give the old printing press a go. It is a true production press. These machines are still capable of producing prints in the same fashion as they did all that time ago. The mechanical hum now provided by a motor has taken the place of the pounding of a pedal being tapped by foot. The signature clank of uh, CNP. But print after print, tourists of the Hamilton Museum can have the experience of watching time tick into a place that continues the process the old fashioned way. In Two Rivers at the Hamilton Wood Type and Printing Museum, I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26. Absolutely incredible to see that history. Well, the museum offers guided tours daily from 1 to 3 p.m. It's $5 for adults, 3 bucks for kids.